Hello everyone, Piers from Piers Invest Plays here today. We're going to speak about why I'm buying Microsoft stock and provide my price prediction for Microsoft stock by the end of 2021. My thoughts on Lemonade stock and should you buy it? Three SPAC stocks that I'm buying and I think can give you 2x profits in the next couple of months. Market crash or recovery? What am I holding and selling? So stick around. I think you'll like what I have in store for you today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. This helps me grow my YouTube channel and bring out this content to my YouTube family on a regular basis. With that said, let's get started. All right, Microsoft stock, ticker MSFT. Now the reasons why I'm recommending Microsoft stock and why I'm buying are Microsoft Azure. This is the cloud product that competes directly with Amazon Web Services, AWS. We have seen increased adoption for, for Microsoft Azure and the future is cloud data. And Microsoft is the second biggest player in the market. Microsoft has been capturing more market share every quarter. Currently, Microsoft stands at 30% market share. Microsoft has been creating its own hardware product lineup. For example, Microsoft Surface. The sole intent for Microsoft to create this product uh, this product lineup is to showcase its strengths and there has been good adoption to Microsoft Surface lineup. We've also seen increased adoption of Office 365. The subscription and cloud-based model is winning market share. Microsoft has Moot which is they have competitive advantage against their competitors. Its second biggest competitor Google is not even a match. There is also increased adoption of enterprise solutions such as Windows and SQL servers, Power BI, LinkedIn. Microsoft has beaten 2020 revenue guidance and has easily beaten analyst estimates. I expect 2021 to be a bumper year for Microsoft and the icing on the cake for Microsoft is that it pays good quarterly dividend. My 2021 price target for Microsoft is $312, which is a 30% upside potential from its closing price today, which is approximately $240. All right, moving on to Lemony, ticker LMND. It is one more insurance company. It is different from the competition because majority of the business is online. They do not have any physical physical store locations. The pricing is better than competitors. Lemonade provides insurance for homeowners, renters, landlord, pet insurance, life insurance, primarily term life insurance. For Lemonade, I would keep an eye on their earnings. If their earnings improve, I would consider that as a buying trigger. I do not like what it is trading right now, which is approximately $145. For me, the right price range to buy Lemonade would be between $115 to $125. My price target for Lemonade for 2021 is $180 dollars which is approximately a 25 to 35 percent upside potential depending on at what price you buy this stock all right moving on to the three SPAC stocks that i'm buying before we jump into the three SPAC stocks i would like to remind everyone a couple of points that i always consider before buying any of these packs SPAC stocks for me are short-term plays no matter what anyone says, I try to invest only if the price of a SPAC stock is between $10 and $20, preferably below $15. You would expect volatility and sometimes no price movement in, in SPAC stocks, which is fine. Always plan your exit. Set a price target for yourself. For example, if you get 2x returns, exit. Buy when the price cools off. Do not chase. Sometimes when a merger announcement is made, the price of a SPAC stock skyrockets, that is not the time to buy. Let the price cool off, buy within the price range that we just spoke about. With SPAC stocks, do not regret early exit and do not try to re-enter. I generally target SPAC stocks that have market momentum, primarily around clean energy, EV, technology, ride sharing, or genomics. With that said, the three SPAC stocks that I'm buying this week are number one is Perion Network Limited Common Stock, ticker 
P-E-R-I. They would be merging with an online advertising technology firm. They are in the same space as Magnite and Magnite has quadrupled in price. I see definitely a 2x price potential in Perry SPAC stock. The second one on the list is Forum Merger 3, ticker FII. They are merging with electric last mile solutions there is no merger date but it is expected to merge sometime in q1 2021 so you would have to show some patience with this spac stock and the third and the last one vpc impact acquisition corp ticker vih they are merging with bakkt backed backed is a cryptocurrency exchange and a marketplace for digital assets backed is backed by intercontinental exchange ice and it provides futures trading on crypto so these are the three spac stocks that i'm buying this week and i would recommend to my youtube family as well all right moving on to the next topic market crash and recovery i think we've seen a very good recovery in the market this week kudos to everyone who bought last week and showed patience and did not sell anything millionaires are made who show patience in the stock market and do not panic sell january crash that happened last week happened due to month end options expiry and the GME stock craze. Hedge funds were selling all the good stocks to cover their positions in the GME stock. In future, you might see some very big red days. But please remember, stock market always makes a quick recovery. For example, in 2007 and 2008 market crash, the recovery happened in less than eight months. I would advise, please do not panic sell. In fact, you should consider market crash or pullbacks as Black Friday sales. That's a mind shift that you would have to apply whenever you see uh, red days. Whenever there is a pullback or there is a market crash, consider them as Black Friday sales and buy good blue chip stocks or the stocks that you believe in. I believe in these stocks, Apple, Tesla, Google, Microsoft, Neo, Amazon, Etsy, Nvidia. These are good solid companies and you will never lose money if you hold them long term. So that is my advice. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. This helps me grow my YouTube channel and bring out this content to my YouTube family on a regular basis. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.